Welcome to the CTTP training videos. In this video, the slump test is demonstrated as described in ASTM C143, Standard Test Method for Slump of Hydraulic Cement Concrete. Choose a base area that is large enough to contain all of the slumped concrete without interference. Dampen the base and inside of mold. Ensure that the base is a flat, rigid, level, non-absorbent surface that is free of vibration. Place the mold in the center of the base and step on the two foot pieces, centering your weight evenly to prevent movement of the mold during filling. The slump test is a timed test. Complete the slump test from the start of filling the mold through the removal of the mold within two and a half minutes. The slump cone is to be filled in three layers of equal volume. For the first layer, fill the mold to approximately one-third of its volume. Evenly distribute the concrete in the mold by using a twisting motion of the scoop during placement of the concrete. Rod the bottom layer with the rounded end of the tamping rod 25 times through the entire depth of the layer. Incline the rod slightly and begin on the perimeter, spiraling toward the center with more vertical strokes. Uniformly distribute the rodding across the surface. For the second layer, fill the mold to approximately two-thirds of its volume, which is about half full based on the height of the mold. Rod the second layer of concrete 25 times with the tamping rod penetrating into the first layer about one inch each stroke. Add the top layer of concrete to the mold so that the level of concrete is above the mold rim. Rod the top layer 25 times with the tamping rod penetrating into the second layer about 1 inch each stroke. If the level of concrete falls below the rim of the mold, stop rotting, add additional concrete, and continue rotting where you left off. The concrete level must be kept above the rim at all times. After the 25th stroke, no more concrete may be added. Strike off the concrete flush with the mold rim using the tamping rod with the rolling and screeding motion. Remove concrete surrounding the base of the mold without allowing movement or rocking of the mold. If you must move your foot, transfer your weight to your hand before moving your foot. Transfer your weight to your hands and step off the foot pieces while pressing down on the mold to prevent premature movement. Look at the center of the concrete surface, watching carefully as the mold is lifted. Slowly lift the mold to a height of 12 inches in 5 plus or minus 2 seconds. Do not twist or rotate the mold while lifting. Place the slump cone on the base, making sure it is level and flush with the base. Place the tamping rod across the slump cone and align it with the original center of the concrete. This may have been displaced during the slumping of the concrete. Measure vertically from the bottom of the tamping rod to the original displaced center of the concrete. Report the slump to the nearest one quarter inch. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.